Good day, I'm Mark Loon. Welcome to a special edition of XTV in which the Singapore Real Estate Exchange, SRX, launches the Rental X Value. The Rental X Value is a computer-generated estimate of a home's rental value. It is a Singapore innovation only available in this market. Joining us today at the launch press conference are executives from the SRX Consortium of Estate Agencies. Their agencies are the leaders in Singapore and represent most of the market in terms of transactions. Also joining us are members of the press, including members of The Straits Times, The New Paper, My Paper, Shinmin Daily, Channel News Asia Money Mind, and 938 Live Chinese Radio News. The way I like to describe the rationale behind what we're trying to accomplish with the rental X value is to use an analogy or a comparison with the investment banking world. The real estate industry and the investment banking industry are very similar. You have a real estate agent or an investment banker that are buying, selling, or renting an asset that has no fixed price on it. So if we take the example of the investment banker who are buying and selling companies, how do they arrive at a price and then how do they negotiate a deal? The way they do it is they get a whole bunch of analysts that have lots of degrees and they come up with a valuation that's based on comparable companies that have either recently sold or are publicly traded and have public valuations or market caps. So now let's move to the real estate world. The real estate world traditionally has not had a team of analysts that work for an agent. So what the rental X value and our sales X value do is they substitute for the analyst in the uh, investment world by using a computer to do all the number gathering, to do all the computation, to lay out all the comparables, to make adjustments to those comparables so that you're comparing apples to apples and oranges to oranges. So in very simplistic terms, what the rental value is is an, is an analyst that's been computerized that helps the agent better advise their clients. Hi, I'm with Nicholas Mark and he's from SLP International. He's the head of research and consultancy. Hi Nicholas, thank you so much for coming. So Nicholas, how does the X value help your agent? Um, well, I think that the X value um, will take a lot of guesswork uh, out of arriving at the uh, value uh, for a property, whether it is a uh, sales value or rental value. And it can also be able to help the agent to um, convince either the landlord or the tenants or the buyers that this is an impartial value that's derived by a computer model. And this can also, um, basically, for an agent to close a deal, he must be able to bring a meeting of minds between the owner and the buyer or tenant. And this um, X value uh, can be a useful tool to arrive in that, uh, to that conclusion. Let me show you without X value, what would somebody do, whether you're a tenant or landlord? One would probably try to visit the HDB website, and the HDB website also has some form of rental transactions. Uh, not very granular, but let's see what it shows you if somebody is looking for, let's say, Bukit Batok Street uh, 52. Interesting to note, if you look at the transactions in Block 511, that a HDB four-room flat, which is smaller than a five-room flat, went for $2,500 and $2,300 recently. So if I were trying to rent out a five-room flat, I would look at this five-room and it says it's rented out for $1,500. Okay, so that sort of like doesn't quite make much sense, all right? Why would a five-room in the same block rent out much, much lower than a four-room flat? even though if you take into account that they were rented out at different dates, but they were just quite recent uh, within the last two years. So something 
is uh, something might be missing from this information for somebody that is uninitiated. One thing it says over here is that the rental is based on a declaration by the flat owner. HDB does not verify the accuracy of the data. So now we have a problem. If I'm trying to rent out a five room, what is the right price? Switch to srx.com.sg. I will do exactly the same unit. The moment you put in, it tells you that the X value is about $2,400, right? So now the question is, why is it $2,400? And that is where the agent comes in, because the agent has privileged information on all the supporting transactions, which I'll show you over here on Agent Connect, that will help to verify or validate this number, and uh, we use it as a starting point to get the final pricing on the rental. And you can see that these are the transactions that were done for HDB 5 room that is not available on the HDB website. An agent can press the get X value, key in the same thing, and he sees that it's $2,400. But the difference is that they can view the supporting rental transactions at the right side. The HDB website only goes back to the last two years. So we have historical data for more than two years, in fact, eight years all the, back, all the way back to 2006, that we can use algorithms to access what should be the market rentals today for that particular unit. I will go to the URA website. And someone that is not in the business may not know how to accurately read something that is outdated, that does not have the relevant size for their unit. And uh, on top of that, it doesn't have a sort of a unit level information that tell you what floor is it, because sometimes the different floor levels do matter to the kind of rentals that you see. So here, um, the indication is all over the place. It's between 2,000 to 4,500. So it's quite tough for someone to get a, to, to grab on to at least a starting point that has some rigor behind it. So that is where X value comes in again. Celadon view on the unit 0304. So you can see that there are two comparable transactions over here. One is on the second floor and the other one is on the third floor. And, uh, but they are lower than the 3450, right? Because one is 2008 or the other one is 3300 because they are older transactions. So just now you saw in the public URA website there are older transactions, but the question an owner or a buyer will try to ask themselves is, so how much has the market moved since then? Or what is the market pricing today, right? If you look at the first transaction, the market for rental prices for apartments that is around Celadon View has gone up by 9.03% according to the SRX price index. And for the second transaction, the SRX price index for that region says is 18.48%. Each transaction is also adjusted by the floor levels and the sizes that you see here so that we compare apples with apples and derive the adjusted PSF of $2.31 PSF for the first one and $2.79 PSF for the second one. So the average comparable PSF would be $2.55, which when you multiply by the size of 1,345 square feet, you will get the X value of $3,450, which is a market price for this unit today. Without the X value, if some a consumer or an agent today that is out there trying to serve a client in these popular areas, they will encounter a lot of problems uh, which often uh, results in mispricing on the market. So we have seen that because information were not as accessible or as transparent in the past, there are people severely overpaying and underpaying for rentals uh, due to all these various reasons that we have seen. So um, from today onwards, this will no longer be an issue with the right information and tools. Thank you. Hi 
Hi, I'm right now with Eugene Lim of ERA, and he's the key executive officer. Hi, Eugene. Thank you so much for coming. So, Eugene, how has your agency adopted to today's reality that rentals now make up more than two-thirds of the market's activity? Well, uh, simply we have to uh, concentrate more on the uh, serving the landlords because more um, new projects are actually completing and TOP this year, next year and the following year to help the agents focus on the change in the, uh, the transaction volume in the market which is basically two-thirds of the today's volume is on rental transactions so it's a reality that most agents would uh, move to where should move to where the market is most active Eugene, how will the rental X value help your agents? I think uh, previously uh, many of these uh, were done manually. Typically a landlord would ask the agent what's, what can I rent for and the rent agent will have to look to comparables and advise the rent landlord accordingly. So with this uh, rental X value basically it provides a hassle free uh, indication of what is a competitive rental for uh, the unit. And so it, it provides a starting point for both the, the landlord and the agent to set uh, a competitive rent for, for the unit and it, it does help the agent to be more productive. Freely accessible from srx.com.sg for the public. Our commitment uh, as an organization as SRX to make sure that uh, agents are fully equipped with uh, all the data that goes behind all the computation. So we're very, very transparent. And I've said that we've said it before, I'll say it again. If you want to understand our index, just go to our website. So, so that's a very good question. How do we adjust for these two factors that we see over here? Size and uh, floor adjustments. So that is uh, the formula that you all saw just now. Nah? Uh, we, we have this hedonic regression. So it is, we take all the past transactions and put it into a multivariate regression technique which is called hedonic regression to look at, so that we control for all the various factors. So this is the hedonic regression formula. And, uh, and the system will calculate, we will control for all these different factors and isolate it such that if there is a, for every single floor increase in that particular project, what would be the premium? for example. Hi, I'm with Lim Yong Ho of PropNext and he's a key executive officer. Hi Yong Ho, thank you so much for coming. Okay, so Yong Ho, how has your agency adopted to today's reality that rentals now make up more than two-thirds of the market's activity? Okay, I think generally the uh, agents, they are actually very dynamic people, uh, very fluid. And uh, knowing that the sales volume has dropped uh, more than 50% over the last uh, uh, six months, uh, many of the agents are switching to convert some of their listings, the sales listings, into rental listings. So, Yong Kok, how will rental X value help your agent? Uh, with the increased numbers of uh, units um, going to TOP this year, uh, I think there'll be more than 10,000 units. And I believe bulk of these units will be up for rent. I think with this X value, um, it does uh, give our agents uh, an edge over our competitors as well, especially those who are not on the SRX system. Okay, um, they are able to provide the customers a better advice on what is the moving trend of the rental, especially when more units are up for rent, uh, maybe the rental prices may adjust itself. And with this X value, especially it's real time, I believe it will actually help some of our agents to close more deals and uh, to give the consumers a better understanding of the current trend in terms of the rental. And this concludes today's show. To get more information on rental X value, check out srx.com.sg backslash rent. Please join us next week for the monthly HDB report. From all of us at XTV, thank you for watching and have a good day.